because I've had a great opportunity to meet. Uh, I, I'm already considering you a legend, Pack Rat, because we caught up, and uh, you are an interesting individual, you and your band. Thanks for being here for the Blues, Brews, and Barbecue event. So, Mr. Pack Rat, Anthony, tell us about kind of your, tell us about your background in music. What was it that that got you into music, and what brought you to the mountains today? Okay, well, I'll tell you what got me into music. I grew up in a juke joint back home, you know. Uh, Juking. Yeah, I was, I was living room turned to a juke joint every night. When I was a little boy, I had to go in the back of the house. And my daddy would sell, you know, uh, moonshine or home brew and all that kind of stuff and, and, and food. So I, the jukebox, that was a permanent fixture in our living room. That was part of the furniture. You know the old jukebox got the little bubbles run all the way around? Oh, I know exactly what you mean, yeah. Well, that, that was part of the furniture. I was a little boy. And on there was Jimmy Reed, Lightning Slim, all them Howling Wolf. Everybody was on that jukebox. I heard it all the time, you know. So probably the biggest inspiration to music was Jimi Hendrix. But to the blues, I had to say Jimmy Reed. Yeah, Jimmy Reed, well... He used to make the, well, he still do, make the hair stand up on my neck. <laughs> so the blues then, the blues, you were kind of drawn to that sound and that feeling since you were a kid. So they just, it just it was a normal transition for you to, to, to embrace it. Well, I wasn't too much crazy about it when I was a kid, because, uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, you're a kid, you know, you don't appreciate stuff. Yeah, you that's know? right, you I, don't. I used to be back there, oh, she would stay hush, all that fuss up there dancing. Because we had a piano in there, too. And every now and then, some cat will come with a guitar, and they sit there and stomp their feet all night and holler. But I still didn't pay much attention to it. By the time I was a teenager, I was in the rock scene. You know, I was one, I was one of the original hippies. And I was heavy in the rock. And uh, played rock music for years, played top 40, played a little everything. Yeah. I was a drummer once. I was a bass player once, guitar player once. But uh, back in the 80s, I started tooling around with the harmonica a little bit. And uh, though my guitar player is with me now, he's been with me for a long time. Uh, he's been with me ever since he was 15 years old. Right back when I was playing rock and everything, yeah. it was the same guitar player was playing with me. You know? But anyway, uh, we said, let's get a blues band. I said, no, I ain't got to buy too much equipment. <laughs> then I went to think, you don't need much equipment to play the blues. You know, I'll do that. So that's when it started, you know? So I knew all the songs. Well, they was right there from a little boy. <laughs> so, okay. man, man, how you know all of them songs? I mean, man, they printed in my brain. Book of Children. See that? It's ingrained in your brain. Yeah. And then, so, have you been up to Beaver Creek before? Have you been to the mountains? No, I ain't never been up here in these mountains. What do you think about them so far? You want to get out of them? Well, it's kind of cold up here, but I'm going to bring some swamp to these mountains today. <laughs> He's going to bring some swamp to the mountains today. Right. Where are you from? Around uh, Florida there. Yeah. yeah, Central Florida area. You know, I live in a little town right outside of Daytona called New Smyrna Beach. Okay. And we got plenty of swamp area right now. So when you say swamp music, is that like a variation of blues? Is swamp music a well-known type of music? Yeah, we call it swamp blues. Uh, one of my favorites, other than Jimmy Reed, is Lightning Slim. You know, Silas Hogan and uh, Slim Harpo, all them boys from Excello Records. You know, it took a while for me to get used to the swamp, you know, but once I got the hang of it, man, I love that stuff. So we just decided we're going to play swamp blues. <laughs> you know, we, you know, we don't do too much Chicago style blues, you know, because I like the old foot stomping type stuff. So today you're taking to the stage, you and your band, yeah. at right around 2.30. Yes, sir. What do you expect is going to happen out here? You get this place going? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't come in for nothing. You didn't come here for people to sit in their seats, did you? No, they got to move. They're going to move today. Swamp I, music get people moving and warm them up? You believe it or not, it does. Yes, sir. Ain't nothing like that swamp beat, man. A little liquid dancing courage out there and some swamp music? Yeah, it's a driving. It's a driving beat. It's it, a driving beat? Swamp is all about the groove. You'll see. You going to be here? I'm going to be here. Well, you'll see. I want to be here to see what you're up to. I love it. So people want to check out more about you, packratmusic.com. Pack, what's what's, what's oh. Packrat Roadhouse? Packrat Smokehouse Music.com. Packrat Smokehouse Music.com. <laughs> right on. It's my pleasure. My pleasure chatting with you. Yeah. Come on up today and check out Packrat Smokehouse. They're going to be taking the stage at 2.30 at Blues, Brews, and Barbecue in Beaver Creek. We have a look at that weather forecast coming up next with Megan.